In the first of Saturday's Basel semi-finals, world number one Novak Djokovic suffered a shock defeat to Japan's Kei Nishikori, the 21-year-old wildcard, becoming the first Japanese player to defeat a world number one. The second semi was an all-Swiss affair, as Roger Federer met occasional doubles partner Stanislav Varinka. The 16-time Grand Slam winner coming through in straight set 7-6-6-2, his 10th victory in 11 matches against his compatriot. So Sunday's final of the Swiss indoors Basel saw Federer up against Nishikori, playing in his second ATP World Tour final of the year after Houston. The home favourite had been on a 10-month trophy drought. The only title of Nishikori's career came back in 2008, when he won in Delray Beach. He'd shocked Djokovic, but the Japanese number one struggled in the opening set, broken three times as Federer ran away with it 6-1. Nishikori tried to up his game in the second set, but was increasingly on the receiving end of vintage Federer. The world number 32 recently made the semi-finals of Shanghai and is enjoying his most successful season. But Federer revels in playing indoors. The reigning Barclays ATP World Tour Finals champion was pulling out all the shots. The world number four was on his longest run without a trophy since 2002. However, after only one hour and 12 minutes, the Swiss superstar had won his fifth Basel title. And after that 10-month wait, it felt good to be holding a trophy again. There were tears for the Swiss legend, as well as smiles. This win meant a lot. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're in Paris for all the action from the last ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event of the season. And we meet an old double act newly reformed this season, the legendary Mahesh Bhupati and Leander Pays. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.